Hello, good evening everybody. Hi, I'm Dew with Dew Dots and Designs. And I'm a decorative furniture painter, I'm a vlogger, I'm a mom, I'm a grandma, I'm a DIYer, and I'm an encourager of women. And what I wanna encourage you tonight to do is to step out of your comfort zone and just try something new for a change, you know? We all love to create and decorate and make our homes pretty, but um, I started last night and I was painting uh, books and I was using a little blending technique on the books and I thought it'd be fun to come back on tonight. I want to show you, I went ahead and completed a book today after it dried, but I have another one that we're gonna do tonight. And if you come on and you see this and say hello, let me know you're there. Maybe tell me where you're coming from and if you've ever painted a book or if you want to learn more about painting books or just painting in general. Um, let me show you what we did last night. Last night um, we painted a book and it was two different colors. We used, uh, one was called Blueberry and these are paints from Dixie Bell Paint Company. And this one was called Flamingo and it was a pretty pink. And I took and I blended the two together on this book. If you can see this, this is the finished book after I've done it. Uh, I went back and after it was dried, I went back and I kind of played with some products. Let me tell you about the products that I used on this. The first thing I did was I waxed it. And anytime that you're putting chalk couture on any surface and you want to be able to remove it, you want to make sure that you wax it so that it is able to wipe off and then you can do it again and again. Uh, hello, Colleen, how are you? Hi, Stephanie, good to see you guys on. Um, <coughs> Pardon me, I'm sorry, I'm still coughing. I wanna be able to see your comments, but I'm pretty far away, so I'm struggling to see them. I see Bonnie on, hey Bonnie. Um, but uh, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I wanted to show you this book. Um, like I said, I went in and I, I did some wax on it, and then I went in and I used a product called Dixie Dirt. Have you ever heard of Dixie Dirt? Let me show you. I'm gonna show you what Dixie Dirt is. Dixie Dirt is a powder, it's a powdery substance that looks kind of like dust or dirt. And what you do is you take it, after you've waxed your piece of furniture or whatever you're working on, you can take this and dust over the wax before it's completely dry and it will leave like, I wanna call it time. It's gonna leave time on your piece. What it's gonna do, it's gonna look like dust that's settled in the cracks and crevices over time and make it look really old and dirty and grungy, which is very pretty. You know, take a new piece and make it look old. But this is called Dixie Dirt, and I'm gonna play with this tonight and show you. This is just a fun, it's something new. I've never tried it, and I've only tried it today, so I thought it was super cool. So I wanna show you that tonight, too. And then I went in, um, and I used the same color paint, and I went in and added some little distressing around it. And after that, I went in and did my chalk couture on it and let it dry. And then I went back with, I got multiple layers and layers and layers on these books, girls. I went in with a metallic luster copper wax. And I went back, it's a gilding wax. And I just went in and kind of highlighted around the book. And I thought it was super cute. It just kind of made it look different. And guess what I did? Also on the back, on the flip side, I did a little uh, established 2007. That is the, uh, the, the year that my husband and I were married. So I thought this is cool. So I can use the book either way. I can do it this way. If I want to change it, I'll just flip it over and do it that way. doesn't matter whether the book is upside down or not when you open it because it's actually just going to be used for a display anyway. It's just a sign, a cute little book that you can put like on a little stand, um, like a little recipe stand, you know, uh, just kind of set it up there. It'd be really cute on anything. So you can do all kinds of stuff with old books while you're practicing and learning new techniques on your painting. So let's get started. This is the book we painted last night. If you remember this, it had a darker blue. It was called, let's see the color. The color is called Bunker Hill Blue is what we started with. We painted the outside, the perimeter of the book and the binding or the binder. And then on the back, I went ahead and did that today too. And then we took a lighter color paint and we took one called the Gulf. It's a beautiful blue, looks like the, the Gulf Ocean actually. And I took it and painted inside 
we misted it with a spray bottle and we kind of blended the color together. That way it's kind of light on the inside and darker on the outside. So what I want to show you tonight what you can do is you can actually kind of distress this without having to get sandpaper, without having to make messy stuff. You can actually use the same paint, the lighter that looks like it's underneath the blue, and you can actually bump it around the sides and make it look distressed. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. It's really quick and easy. Let me uh, shake my paint really quick. And I've got the lid on really good so it doesn't come off. And I put my Chalk Couture uh, apron on just in case too. I was trying to be smart tonight so I don't get paint all over me. Okay, so I'm gonna take the lighter color paint that I used last night and I'm gonna take a chip brush, just a little inexpensive chip brush. I like them because they're skinny and you, when you wet them or you, or you dampen them, you don't want it wet but damp, you can kind of put it together and make it really skinny, super skinny. Can you see that? Okay, take your paint and dip just a little bit. And you wanna dip it on both sides. Can you see that? You just want the tip of your brush, not a lot. What we're gonna be doing is just bumping the sides with this paint. Okay, I know, this is a gorgeous color, isn't it, Jackie? I love it. So I'm gonna take my book. Let's do, let's do this side. I wanna do this side. We can do both sides if we want to, but I'm gonna do this side first. I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna bump the edges just a little, just to kind of give it, it looks like it's actually kind of been distressed. You can kind of see just a little bit of color. It looks like it was painted lighter and then actually looks like it's chipping off underneath and you can see it. This is just a really quick and easy way. Um, I have done this with glaze as well. It works really good on furniture if you wanna do glaze, but you're not painting it. You're just barely bumping it, just a tiny bit, just to kind of put it on there. No brush strokes, none, 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 none. And if you don't have enough paint on your brush, then you need to go back and you need to get some more. You don't need a lot of paint, just a little. And you just kind of put it where you think it would be worn. And don't worry if you get too much in one spot, that's okay, because we've got some other things we're gonna be doing to this. I'm just gonna kinda go around the edges, and actually I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the binder too. Can you see that? Let's do the binder. A lot of this is gonna be covered up so you're not gonna see it, so feel free to, to play with this and just kinda make it your own. This same technique can be done on furniture. This is a really good technique to use like on the doors and the drawers on dressers and stuff. And if you wanted to at this point, you could take a water bottle and you could spray it and you could let it drip. You could do anything you want. I don't want to do that tonight. I just want to, I just want it to look kind of like, it's just kind of chippy. Okay. All right. Now, I'm gonna take the dryer really quick and I'm gonna force dry this because it really needs to be dry for the next step. The next step is going to be to put wax over it. And we're gonna force this tonight. I actually have a heat gun. A blow dryer probably would be better. You have to be careful with the heat gun because you don't want to heat it up too much. But the paint dries pretty quick. It doesn't take long. Everybody doing tonight while I'm painting books. You guys painting or crafting, doing anything? Hey, Miss Tammy, good to see you. Hey, Miss Donna, how are you? How you like my book? I haven't decided what I'm gonna put it on the book yet. I'm gonna put chalk couture, but I haven't decided on the same. We're probably not gonna be able to put chalk couture on the book tonight because the wax needs to set up about 24 hours before you can actually put chalk couture over it. 
Um, we could do it without it, but I want to use this over and over again like a chalkboard. So if I wax it, I can wipe this off and then put something else on it. It's just like having a chalkboard. So if I want to change my, my little book sign um, on my entryway or in the kitchen or the bathroom, whatever, I just wipe it off and put a new, uh, new style of chocolate on it. Almost done. look at this and see. I think it's dried. Yeah, it dries pretty quick. Okay, if I had, um, let me put my paint brush up in my paint. If I had some clear wax, uh, what I'm using is Dixie Belle paint. I actually don't have any clear wax in Dixie Belle paint. I've got to order some, but I've got some min wax. And when you're doing chalkboards or if you're using, um, if you're doing cabinets for your chalk couture, cabinet doors, which you can get for like a dollar at the ReStore, then Minwax is a really good product. And I use this to wax over different surfaces that I want to put chalk couture on. It's just a really thick, it's kind of a clear wax. It's got a little yellow hue to it. So if you're doing a whiteboard, it may turn it a, a tad bit yellow. So just remember that. But any, for any colors, it works fine. So I take a little uh, cotton cloth actually have some cheesecloth that was kind of laying around. Put a little on my cloth. Okay. And then I'm just going to wax over the whole thing. I like the look of wax after you put it on paint anyway because it kind of brightens up the, uh, the paint color. I think it looks pretty. But this is quick, quick, quick. Let me do this side too. And I'm working pretty quick because I wanna go back and put that Dixie dirt on here. Remember we talked about the Dixie dirt and that the wax has to kind of be uh, a little tacky for it to adhere. So I'm gonna put a good amount on here. And probably more so around the edges. Okay, you see that? I can see um, the chalk couture has a chalk paste that's kind of a teal color. I think it would be really pretty in here. So that's what I'm thinking I'm gonna do. Okay, let's get some Dixie dirt. We got three different colors. I've got one that's charcoal, which is kind of a brownish gray. I've got one that's called Dixie dirt earth, which is a brown. So that's not too bad. I like that. And then there's also another one called Dixie Dirt Ash, which kind of is, a, is more of a, a lighter color gray. You can see that. But I think for this one, I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm thinking like the Dixie Dirt Earth, the, the darker brown. I don't think I want to do the dark gray, but maybe a brown because I just want it to kind of look dirty and aged a little bit. So let's go ahead and try that. So this is what I do. You take another chip brush, you take a clean chip brush, okay? You see that? And I'm gonna dip my brush in it just a little bit so that you have just a little on it. And while the wax is still wet, I'm gonna kind of play with it. And I'm gonna kind of rub it around the edges. And you can see how it's kind of adhering to the wax. Can you see how pretty that is? It's just automatically aging. It looks really cool. It's like painting with powder. Can you see how pretty this would be on a piece of furniture? How easy it would be to shadow your piece in the corners? It's just, it's fun. It's super fun. It's almost like talcum powder. And I'm gonna put some on the edge out here. I just want it to look kind of dirty. And maybe put a little in the middle, just a little. What you think? It's kind of cool, huh? Fun stuff. 
I did this one really fast. The other one I spent a little more time on. Um, after you put this on, I like to take my wax and then just kind of wipe it over again in the middle just to kind of blend it in. But it's just, it's cool looking. It just kind of made it look like I can put some words in here and it'll really pop out more than it would be if it was just a plain flat book. Now if you wanted to take more paint, some different colored paints, you could actually go in and actually add some more different colors in here. And there's just tons of things that you can do with this and it's just so much fun. And see, if I wanna flip this over and do the other side, I can do that too. And I can use a different color. So let's do that since we've already got it dried. For anybody that's just now coming on, I'm actually waxing a book. So I'm going to go ahead and put wax on this side. And I'll use a different color of the Dixie Dirt and see what it looks like. Maybe I'll use a lighter gray. I don't know. Ooh, I was supposed to paint that first, wasn't I? Well, you know, I'm not going to because I've already waxed it. So we're just going to have to find another way to make it look old. We'll have to play with it. You could probably put two different colors of Dixie Dirt on here if you wanted to. But you want to get a good amount of your wax on here because the Dixie Dirt's not going to stick if there's not enough wax to hold it in because that wax is going to solidify, it's going to dry, and then that dirt is going to be stuck to that wax. So if you have a real detailed piece, it would be really cool because it would get stuck in all the little crevices and the cracks. If you had some IOD molds or anything that you wanted to do like the binder with, that would be really cool. Just make you look like to have some really cool looks. Okay, let's, let's see. Let's put this one up. Let's do, I think I'm gonna do the darker of this one because the book is really dark. I think I'm gonna try to do like the really dark gray. I'll let you see the color of that. Just a really, really dark color. Same brush, I'm gonna take it, dip it in just a little bit. It doesn't stay on the brush. I mean, it just kind of pops off, so. Okay. All right. Ooh. This is my battery's low, guys. Uh-oh, I didn't charge it, I'll have to go fast. Okay, so I've got this. Let's go and do some shadowing. Can you see that? Really cool on furniture. I think I'm gonna be using some Dixie Dirt on some furniture here really quick. Look how fast and quick that was. And you can blend it in and kind of blend it to where it fades, to where it just kind of looks dirty. Ooh, I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot. That is very cool. What you think, guys? Is it something you would try? Some Dixie dirt? Kind of put your dirt in your wax and kind of let it adhere. You have so much more control over this, I found, than you do with dark wax. You know, you can use a clear wax on this and then come back and put the Dixie Dirt in. You don't have the brown wax. That, you know, when you put brown wax on a piece of furniture and sometimes the brown wax, it, it just, it looks really dirty all over. You don't have that problem with this because you put it exactly where you want it and you've already waxed it. It's already got a clear wax on it and you only put the brown where you want it. You don't have to wax the whole piece. And it's really dusty and light so you can do darker in other areas and then kind of blend it in. Pretty stuff, pretty stuff, guys. I love it. It's cool, okay. All right, 
Guys, unfortunately, my battery is low and I apologize. I did not I did not charge it tonight. I got super excited to come out here. So we're gonna have to cut this short. We're gonna have to come back tomorrow and do some chalk couture, but I promise I'll be back on tomorrow night and we'll come and we'll do a design on top of the book and do some chalk couture and I'll show you that. So um, it says, do you wax after the Dixie Dirt? Judy, I don't know. I This is a new product that I'm just trying. I'm gonna reach out to uh, to Dixie Bell. I'll, I'll send them an email tomorrow. Or I'll give them a phone call and ask them. I don't think so. I think once the wax is on, the um, because like wax pieces, if it's wet, the the dirt or is gonna to adhere to it and then it's gonna bond with it. I don't think you'd have to wax over it, but I will check on that for you uh, to know for sure. I can't see why you would. I mean, it feels like it's waxed to me. It's super smooth. Probably would let it dry and then go back and buff it with a cloth. And I'm probably gonna, yeah, this is already dry on the other side back here. This is the other side that we did. It's super dry. So you can see how you can change something so simple. And then again, I'll show you if you're just coming on the one I did last night. This is how it turned out. And I used a, a real pretty, like a coral color and almost like a purple with it. It was really, really pretty. And then I flipped it over and put chalk couture on the back of that too. Just something kind of cute that, you know, I can set around the house and decorate with or give it as a gift. I mean, guys, you can get these books for like a quarter at Goodwill. They're just the cloth back, hardback books and you can paint them and make so much pretty things with them. And how cute would that be to have a shelf that you could put these on, you know, just to decorate in your home. I mean, you can stack them if you wanted to stack them as well. You can do that as well, or you can leave them up to where the pages show, or you can just use them for a cute sign. Super cute, huh? All right, guys. Well, I, uh, I'll go back and look at any of your questions. If you're interested in the Dixie Bill paint, I'll go back in and put a link in, and you can go and look at their colors and their products. I'm just kind of skimming the surface with all their products, but I have tried the rust, uh, the rust paint. I have tried, um, of course, the paint, and now I've tried uh, the uh, the Dixie Dirt, and there's a couple other things. They've got a lot of things in their line that I'm going to try, but I'm going to be bringing them on and showing you kind of as I play with them and and kind of. Uh, see how they work with my furniture and, and if, if that's something that you want to do too. So, and also um, if you're interested in chalk couture, I know I didn't get to do chalk couture tonight. Well, darn, we'll do it tomorrow night. I'll come on and I'll answer any questions that you have and I'll show you how quick and easy it is to transform just something simple. And um, at some point in time, I've got a chalk couture that I'm going to do on a piece of furniture. I want to do an old chest like cabinet that the doors open up and I want to put like a message or a sign inside the drawers. So every time you open up the drawers to use it, you actually get a little message. I thought that would be super sweet. Just kind of something fun. And if you wax your furniture, you can put it on there. And if you get tired of it, you can take it off. Super easy, right? Okay. Well, I'll put those links in here, guys. Thank you for joining me tonight. I appreciate you so much. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll go back and answer them. And I will see you tomorrow night, probably about 8-ish, 9-ish, something like that. And I'll come on and we'll do some more chalk couture. And I've got a couple of new boards we can play with and then do the books as well. So, okay. Well, y'all have a great night and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.